What is up guys, we're here today with another fantastic deck. So we're gonna talk about a Mew 3 deck with a water type twist. And well, it's a deck that definitely is a fun deck to play and definitely one of those decks that still utilizes the Mew 3, right? You know, some say, yeah, he might have been forgotten, right? Some say, yeah, Weezing, you know, destroys him, uh, Power Plant destroys him, but he's still a valid and a fun deck to play. Of course, for those who don't know, uh, Mew 2 and Mew being tacked in because of his perfect but he can copy any attack of uh, GX cards and EX, of course there's no EXs right now in center format, that are in your discard pile or on your bench or, you know, you're active but then you have to be on your bench. So, uh, the principle here is to have, well, a lot of water and we can do that with Frostmove. I think I have, the best uh, turn I had was excuse me, 8 energy uh, turn 2 on the board and I could have had more but it just didn't make any sense. And so now I'm going to have Frosten but also we'll be playing a Pips Toys over here for the Splash Maker and Healing because sometimes you want to have a water type attacker because you know you might see another Psychic type mon that is hitting hard so you want to have additional mon to attack with and that is the twist here as well and let's just go card by card and let's see what the whole, what this whole deck is all about and what cards are inside so starting from left to right we have 17 mons uh, we got one copy of Eldegoss V two copies of the Dene and one Cabalion GX and this is uh, the card that works perfectly against ADP because of the Iron Rule GX, right? Your opponent can't do anything to you during your next turn, your next attack, and that's kind of what you want to do here, right? Of course, uh, you want to lock them down so uh, they can't attack. So you want to lock them down before they're going to use the GX, right? Before they're going to use that, so they can't, you know, do anything. Maybe you know, they've used the GX, but they can't use the regular attack. They can't put the energy anywhere because they can't attack and they can't attack with any mon whatsoever, which is a really good GX attack, and a lot of people keep forgetting about it. Then, of course, you got three Mew 3s, one Pips Toys, three three line of Snummer Frost Muff, one Star Army GX, and two Blastoise GXs for, of course, the Rocket Splash. Then we got three Capacious Buckets, two Evolution Instances, three Great Balls with one Ordinary Rod to bring back the mods. I have to, like, you know, clean that. Whoa, that, there's a lot of dust. Uh, four quick balls, two switches, we got two Virginia Forests and two bosses. All this with two clays, again we want to have those items as fast as possible. Two monies, four researchers, a lot. We got two big charms, two capture energies and 12 water type energies. So that is the whole deck. It's a really honestly fun deck to play and it's one of those decks that can really surprise you, especially with the Rocket Splash uh, Pips Toys and how you can utilize him, right? Just putting that water type energy healing factor is really, really fun here. And definitely it's a twist. Uh, I do apologize, it's not on Friday, it's on Saturday, but there was, you know, I had a few things to do. So, yeah, there you go. Friday's deck, and on Monday it's gonna be another fun deck. So, as well to the gameplay portion, let's have some... a ton more restrictions, but... So, you know, like, outside, you know, mask all the times, so, like, even in... A, like, there's just so many things. Finally. Finally, let me tell you that. Finally, hey, we got a Pips Toys. Sure. So that's a cap. Okay, I'm going first. So even though it's looking not like great, I can still pull it off. Uh, so I'm gonna go with a Snom. Great ball. There we go. Mew three. Well, not really, you know. No, 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 I would still, okay, so to explain that, I would still play the same way. I will still go first capture. Because knowing my own luck, like, again, this is just knowing my own luck here. No, it's okay. Dude, don't tell me he kind of, he's helping me. There we go. Alright, he's slowly helping me. That's fine. Um, 
I thought I'm gonna get the Dene out of uh, Great Ball. Okay, that's a mad party. Sure, only 60. Okay, so now I have a Snom. I have to discard one energy. I don't like that, but I have to do that. Uh, I can grab the Dene. So now, Frostmoth's ability. Um, and I'm gonna try to find myself a switch. But yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I like. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like Great Ball first, because I could have got Snom out of there, and then play Capture and get uh, and get whatever, right? What I need at that time. Yes, for for that, I I precisely know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not mad or anything like that. It's it's all good. <laughs> It's all good. Like, I know what you mean, like, the sequencing of that, yeah. And, you know, again, you're right, so... Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to lose the bucket. But, you know what's kind of funny? This is a turn one. And I already have so much energy. I can have more, but I think that will be overdoing it, so let's play research. Ah. I mean, it's honestly getting ridiculous. <laughs> oh, boy. So I could have ended up with 10 energy turn 2. But of course, because of all of that, you know, I have to change the strategy in general, because... Like, I know Mew 3 is gonna go down, like, there's no other option, so... Pipstoys is gonna be my lord and savior here. But imagine if I would have, you know, uh, Magilord. I think I'm gonna have to add this to this deck. No, but that'll be too much. I think like I'll be sorry overdoing it. But attack switch, hundred uh, percent. I'm gonna add attack switch. So yeah, that's a no capture. Go for it. Um, but yeah, we need attack switch. Because if there will be attack switch, I'll be in a complete different, uh, different, different state. All right. Big Charm... Honestly, um, hmm. Marnie. He has a huge hand size and I don't like that. Oh, and now we gotta switch. So that's gonna be Eldegus for boss later, okay. Splash Maker. Well, it's not precisely the way I wanted it to go, but... Sinistee, okay. Alright, so I kind of thought he might go for the bust all this and, yeah, try to do that. So, and it's gonna be a weird assumption because he can have like more. You know what? <sighs> Polygast can draw him cards, which is annoying. So I can go Elder Goss and Boss Order just to get that, but at the same time, 
You know what? Okay, I'm gonna assume he's uh, not gonna draw well. So I just wanna go boss order. Because he's up two cards. I don't believe he has anything good. And I think he, his luck is just rubbish. And I think he had uh, a Poltergeist in his hand. That's what I'm thinking right now. He had a Poltergeist. Or Evolution Incense. Okay, so he had an Evolution Incense just to get that Poltergeist. Okay. But now Pokemon Communication, probably the DNA, something like that. Alright. So I kind of read him... Okay-ish. Like, it was not the worst read. Right? Hmm... Dude, literally, just, I'm just gonna go research and try to find a switch, I guess. Now you can... Now, Clay? He's like, No, nah, sorry, mate, uh, I got late to the party. Like, you're, you're late to the party. You're right about that. Nah, I'm far from. I'm really far from. Um... Alright, so what annoyed me is, okay, so I can't do anything here, um, I'm just gonna pass. So the reason why I have Elion put the energy on the Dene is just in case he would play boss orders and I had, like, no switch, nothing, um... Ah, oh, so I was right! <laughs> why don't retreat? To retreat cost. So I couldn't. I couldn't retreat. I hadn't... So, I played research to maybe find a switch. I couldn't retreat, you know. Uh, no, uh, I can only do that on the benched. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so I'm gonna go like that, unfortunately. But, I, okay, so, but if you look at what he has, I think I've read him really well. So, getting rid of this little fellow. I mean, he has Poltergeist, I know that, but like now he's just top decking. He has to find something. Uh, I'm not even playing a Mew 3. I discarded it all because, yeah, like it's just too risky. I think he whiffed all of his bosses at this point. Uh, two, okay. Ooh, hoo, 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 I feel bad. That was a Poké Gear for nothing. With 23 cards, pocket gear for nothing, uh, gambling in my casino, yeehaw! I mean, like, if you want that, so that's, uh, you know, 20, let's go. <laughs> Alright, preparing. Splash maker. And I've lost. I mean, like, uh, the gamble. So remember what happened yesterday, right? There was a huge pull. There was a lot of stuff. Um, in total, yesterday, almost 100,000 feathers was given away through the slots. Uh, or through, through the slot machine, so yeah. I think... Okay, uh, Frostmouth, I, I was gonna say... Please appear. Later on in the game. Oh, I mean, okay, I can stop uh, ADP with this Cabalion, but okay, the Dene. <laughs> There's nothing better. Yeah, I have nothing better to do. Okay, so. Let's start with Great Ball. Just get the sequencing going. So, Blastoise. Quick Ball. 
So I have two options. I can either go Mew 3 now. Or I can go Snom. I think I'm gonna go Snom. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly think Snom is a better idea here for next turn. Yeah, honestly he is. Oh boy. Torcoil? Alright, so this is okay, the classic Torco with buff padding, okay. Yeah, I honestly feel like for this matchup, Pip's Toys is gonna be a lot better. Uh-huh. I know what I'm gonna do, okay. I precisely know what I'm gonna do. Frostmurf. I'm gonna go for the GX. Marnie. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I had no better options right now, just going for that Cabal in GX. Uh, Iron Rule Attack. The best case scenario is me top decking Pips Toys. Actually, I don't even have to like think about it because I, I have capture energy, so I can just play capture energy from my hand, get that Pips Toys, retreat, and attack. So actually, I feel like I'm sad. I mean, I wish I would go for that. I could have gone for, for Mew 3, but like here, Mew 3 is just not good. I'd rather have a weakness uh, working for me than, than, than anything else. Mm-hmm. I mean, if he's gonna retreat and attack, I'm gonna love it. Okay, he left it, okay. So, let's start like that. We're gonna have a capture. Pip's toys. Two. Research. So he's gonna be 120 or 180 depending on okay. Mm. Okay, he heals, right? Up to three and you heal fifty for each. Okay. So I can heal but that's the next turn play. Uh, energy just in case. And Splash Maker, let's go. No need of healing, uh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I, oh, I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up, I messed it up, messed it up. I should have, gosh darn it. I should have attached the energy. I just realized that. Oh no. Because I was thinking about it. Hey, I think I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about attaching that energy. So if he's gonna go and discard two with 107. Yeah, with 120, then yeah. Hmm. 
Commander Dene. <sighs> boy, we got a switch. Oh boy, we got a switch. Okay, so all I need is eyes down for one. Uh, done, because I'll be attaching this energy. Retreat. Splash maker. Knockout and I'm attaching. Right now, so I'm healing 50. That's a win. There's nothing else that's going to happen. That's a W. Oh, that could have went sideways pretty fast. So even I made a huge mistake. That should have not happened. Uh, it turned to be okay. Yep. But that mistake should have not happened. Like, mm -mm, not at all. Oh well. I mean, we've won, so... <laughs> Still not bad. What would you consider, uh, in the current format, uh, the most broken card? Jesse James. <laughs> uh, just because everyone hate, hates it, but... Yeah, Jesse James for allowing, you know... The strategies of not having anything in hand, yeah, you know, for your opponent. So yeah, but I don't think there's like a turbo broken card. Like I know you can, you know, say like, yeah, but what about ADP? Scope of net to zigzagon. Also, yeah. I mean, dude, the stall deck, Waylord stall deck, like it's like so five years ago, <laughs> or something. Uh, myself? N yeah, like few, probably, yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab a Blastoise. Yeah, but like, again, even right now, that's old school stall deck is just, like, in expanded, it gets beaten super fast, like, super easily by uh, the newer ones. Okay, so we got a Pips toy, so again, something I can put uh, energy on. And the Dene. But yeah, like if I would have like considered one, that would probably be it. Hmm. You go here. You go here. I mean, I know this is a super early turn, you know, GX, but hey. I got the energy, and I can skip frost mode, so why not? I have been uh, thinking of the new telescope card coming next set. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I also think, you know... The, the current new... Yeah, that's a GG. There we go. That was fast, and that was fun. Also, I know there's this debate about ADP and whatever, but... Honestly, every six. Well, and there you have the beautiful Pips Toys uh, Mew 3 Water Type deck. Amazing. If you enjoy what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to channel for more videos like that. Of course, down there below, 5% discount and equal to purchase on Professor Oak. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. Good night. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care. Bye.